what is S1000D? S1000D is a specification. It defines a methodology for creating documentation. It is intended to be used as a common method for organizing, writing, and presenting information intended for use by service technicians, mechanics, or users of a product. The methodology provides a structure for the content and a common method of displaying it in print, on a digital device, or when delivering it as an electronic digital set of files. The secondary design benefits of the standard are meant to reduce costs, increase user skills and knowledge, and provide a means of presenting information across a diverse set of media-aware equipment. The specification provides both the authoring and end-user community a detailed definition of how to create, format, and distribute publications. It is the first specification to cover the majority of issues associated with creating a new system, configuring a new project, addressing authoring and end-user requirements, plus a means of enforcing a degree of quality assurance on the authored information. The development of S1000D is a natural evolution of the information technology age. Over the past 100 years, we have migrated from handwritten information to the typewriter. Eventually, we progressed to typeset publications using computing systems. Today, we have very complex computing systems capable of managing vast quantities of information with the ability to customize a publication for specific end users and specific instances of a product. This evolution has added costs in some areas of information development, but it has also decreased costs in other areas. It has also greatly increased the ability to distribute information with higher quality and multiple uses from the same data source. The documentation products we see today are an outgrowth of a process of trial and error started by the creation of the first highly complex machines of the early 20th century. In the past 20 years, though, a more proactive approach toward creating a documentation standard has motivated the industry to seek more cooperative development of a single standard. The path to this new standard has evolved from complex products developed by the aerospace industry. The leading methods of documentation development and presentation are based on the ATA100 and ATA iSpec 2200 standards. The ATA100 uses a relatively new file format known as Standard Generalized Markup Language, or SGML. This file format is designed to hold the structure of information intended for presentation in a publication or electronic viewing system. To fully comprehend the importance of the ATA100 specification, which is the origins of the S1000D standard, it is essential to understand that both are built on top of the SGML file standard. To put this in perspective, the SGML file format is the origins of the World Wide Web, or what we more commonly refer to as the Internet. This may sound odd, but this is a fact. HTML hypertext markup language was created using SGML. Many people are familiar with the acronym HTML. It is the basis for almost all data storage formats we see in a web browser. For example, Microsoft's Internet Explorer or Mozilla's Firefox. All recognize HTML and know how to present information within the viewing area of the browser because HTML is a well-documented standard, which is easily accessible and managed by a large open source user community. Without the HTML standard, there would be no agreed to format displaying information in a web browser. Without the SGML standard, there would be no HTML, XML, XSL, or other XML file formatting standards. The latest issues of the S1000D standard use XML as the primary file format for storing information. XML is short for Extensible Markup Language. More and more businesses are moving to the XML standard for holding textual information. Its primary benefit is the ability to hold structured content, which was the original intent of SGML. It forces technical writers to place information into predefined data structures, which can then be used as sources for creating a variety of output formats for that information. For example, if a publisher only wants to access specific pieces of information, and not everything a technical writer has stored in an XML file, they can access the information they want and leave what they don't want behind. For further clarity, a company may use any of the information they create for servicing a product as part of an advertising campaign, if they so choose, simply by repurposing information authored by a technical writer that was originally intended to support a description of the product or how it works. This same information might appear in many places within the documentation set for the product. Topics defined as how-to information can be recycled for teaching, advertising, servicing, or internal engineering material. This reduces costs by allowing the content to be recycled or repurposed numerous times. To accomplish this capability, XML has several layers to its design. 
we'll look at three of those layers. The primary layer is the schema layer, where the definition of how information is stored in a data structure is defined. A schema is nothing more than a framework, something like a very smart template, with predefined locations within it for storing specific bits of data. The next layer is the data layer. Information entered by a technical writer is inserted into XML files using a schema as the structure. This structure is somewhat like a paint-by-numbers approach to entering information into the file. After the content is entered into the file, the data is referred to as an information set. The next layer of XML is known as the presentation layer. To create information for display to an end user, a transformation of the content in the file must be performed. This transformation is managed by creating an XML transform. A transform is used to create an HTML file from the data stored in the XML file so it can be presented in a web browser. Basically, a transform acts like a converter. This method provides for the creation of multiple transforms to present information using many different output formats without having to make changes to the source data in the original XML file. Thus, XML creates the primary data structure, information set, and presentation method used by S1000D. The rest of the specification addresses methods of authoring content using the predefined schemas and how to format the output for various publications. Each schema addresses a specific information type. For example, the Descript.xsd schema is intended to hold descriptive data. The Proced.xsd schema is intended to support procedural data. The IPD.xsd schema is for illustrated part data. There are many other schemas designed specifically for other information types in various publications. Access to the specification is free. All the schemas and related documentation for how to use the schemas is available from the www.s1000d.org website. This is one of the primary benefits of the specification. Because the specification is similar to an open source format, but is owned by the S1000D user community, there is significant acceptance of the design because it is a cooperative effort across a diverse set of industries. There are hundreds of thousands of man hours rolled up into the development of the specification. It is one of the primary reasons why the specification is gaining interest in the commercial sector as well as in the government and military. The benefits of XML combined with best practices and presentation formats has created the first standard which addresses the majority of requirements defined by industry content developers as well as government and military end users. S1000D also attempts to address the costs of creating and maintaining data for publications. It is not a hard and fast specification. It does have a degree of flexibility, but there are specific portions of the specification which must be followed exactly if a company wishes to take full advantage of its capabilities and continue to address the needs of the end user community. S1000D addresses the primary need to define a publishing process with well-accepted authoring, publication generation, formatting, and distribution methods. It is the first standard to address the needs of most industrial documentation projects. It is also the first to have a well-defined presentation format which spans multiple product types and media presentation devices. As a part of all complex products with risks associated with their use, it is necessary to provide a common and well-accepted method of presenting information. This is especially critical for users or service technicians of a product where there are a diverse set of products they might be expected to work with. This presentation format benefits the end user by providing a common look and feel to all information, regardless of the company that produced it. S1000D is not just a standard. It is a well-thought-out publishing paradigm, which addresses the ability to create customized content for different end users of the same product. For example, if a customer owns a derivative of a product, there is no need to completely reauthor all the content by the manufacturer and no need to have multiple publication sets for the end user. Using applicability, a fundamental capability of the specification, it is possible to tag specific portions of information within a publication and have it presented to end users only when they are working with that instance of the product. This is a very significant benefit to the end users of information. Enter the serial number of the product, and the publication system will display only the information related specifically to that product. This is very important to end users if there are service bulletins, safety recalls, or specific processes required to be performed only on that instance of the product due to its configuration or custom options. This is a fundamental capability of the specification, and is intended to lower costs associated with servicing products. 
It allows technicians the ability to use documentation without having to search through pages and pages of related information, or to reference multiple publications in order to identify whether or not they are working on the correct product and using the correct tools and servicing procedures for that instance of the product. S1000D is the first documentation standard that addresses the needs of both the manufacturer and end user of complex products. It is still evolving, but it is very stable. New capabilities addressing the needs of parts provisioning, logistical support analysis, and data transfer protocols for moving information from smart products, that is, systems with health management features, to analysis systems are on the way. Moving from previous standards to S1000D is encouraged by many government and military agencies for new product acquisitions. The U.S. Air Force is in the process of mandating a requirement to have all documentation provided in S1000D. The same is happening with other joint services participants. Eventually, it is expected all new product acquisitions will need to be S1000D compliant. If you have questions about the S1000D specification and would like more information, please contact SDL using the Ask an S1000D Expert at SDL.com email address or visit our website www.sdl.com and look for the Structured Content Technologies tab.